In this video, you're going to build a YouTube AI assistant in Python that's capable of speaking 32 languages. If this sounds like fun, let's dive in. So in a nutshell, you're going to use assembly AI for speech recognition and Thoughtbreak Claude for the large language model and also the 11 labs for the speech synthesis. And so let's get started, shall we? So let's fire up the Google Colab notebook here, and then we're going to install the prerequisite library. We're going to first install the FFmpeg package. So this is the operating system for Ubuntu that Colab is using here. So it's saying that it already has that version. And now we're going to pip install YouTube DLP, which is kind of like the downloader of YouTube videos. And then we're going to use assembly AI. Uh, Python library. All right. And then finally, we're going to install the 11 labs Python library as well. So let's go ahead and load the API keys for assembly AI and the API key are stored in here in the secrets management of Colab. So I have all of my API key here conveniently labeled as follow and then the, the key are shown here. And then you could just activate the ones that you're going to use in this tutorial. So I already have assembly AI activated. I'm also going to activate the 11 labs API key here as well. All right. And so let's go ahead and download a video from YouTube. So I already have the URL here. Let's download it. Give it a short moment. So yeah. So as always, we're using the Steve Jobs Stanford commencement address here. Give it a short moment. All right. And so it's finished. Let's check it out here. So it's right here. Steve Jobs, 2005 Stanford, and it's in the MP3 format and it's 28.7 megabytes. All right. And so we're going to transcribe it here. So the transcriber, we're using the assembly AI transcriber function, and then we're using the transcribe method on the audio file, which we defined earlier. And for the prompt, we are giving it a question. What are the five key messages that Steve Jobs wanted to convey uh, in the speech? And then we wanted the AI or LM to explain that in Korean. Okay, so you could feel free to use any other language that 11 Labs support. And here you go, you have it in Korean language. Okay, somewhere in English, like the stay hungry, stay foolish, uh, quote. Now that we have it in Korean language, we're going to use 11 labs to generate the speech. So you have two approaches to do it. The first approach looks pretty simple and we're going to use the generate method. So let's do it. The first approach. Okay. So we haven't yet defined the API key. Let's see. Let me define it. The key here. Let's have a look. What did I call it here? 11 labs. Okay. Put it here. I'll call this 11 labs and then, um, 11 labs. Let's try it again. All right. So API key has been defined and hopefully we'll be able to generate some speech here. Okay. I'm not sure if the audio will go through because in my recording, I selected for the option that it will not, you know, record the system audio. Let me see if I could, um, let's see, what can I do here? But yeah, I mean, it successfully generated the audio. Why don't I use my phone? Then I'm going to lock into the same collab or better yet. Let me try approach number two so that I, I will be able to generate the audio file. And then I will email that audio file or send it via the, um, you know, to the phone and then I'll play the audio from the phone. All right. And so in this second approach, we have generated the audio and the second approach here uses 11 labs. And what we are essentially doing is we created this function text to speech file where we will provide it with the text, which is here in Korean language. And it will use the voice ID here. And then the output format will be an MP3 file. And we're using the multilingual, um, model from 11 labs to synthesize the speech. 
and then we're going to save it out as a mp3 file here and then we're going to write it out to the file and then just kind of like give a um, notification that the file has been written and then we're going to play it in the Jupyter Notebook. So if you're doing this on your own computer, it should work, uh, but because of the recording issue, the audio is not um, going through to the recording. Okay, so now we have the MP3 file. And it's right here. And I'm gonna share it, airdrop it to my phone. All right, and it's here. Let's play it. Let me close this first. 스티브 잡스의 연설에서 전달하고자 한 다섯 가지 주요 메시지를 한국어로 설명하겠습니다. 1. 어, 인생의 점들을 연결하라. 현재는 이해할 수 없어 보이는 경험들이 미래에 중요한. All right. So you notice here that we use only a portion of the generated response. So the first 100 characters just for the example here. Uh, but for your own use case, you could use the entirety of the generated response. So I'm doing this just to save the cost of generating the speech here. And yeah, I mean, both of these, I'm using the free API key that you will get upon signing up for it. And if you like it, then you could, you know, use it uh, for your own projects here and say, let's see if we could use other languages. Let's say in Spanish, how about that? Just rerun it. It's as simple as that, right? It's just prompting. And we're going to generate the answer in Spanish, and then we'll be able to synthesize the recording. Here we go. We're going to synthesize the speech. Oh, I should actually use the second method here. Let me just stop it here and then use the second method. All right. Okay. So it's finished anyway second method all right so it should be this file so i'm going to save it out air dropping it share airdrop all right to the phone or let's see all right let's, let's do it here it is let's play it basado en el discurso de steve jobs los cinco mensajes clave que quería transmitir son uno confía en jordan eche all right what do you think? If you speak the language, let me know in the comment section down below, how's the audio? And so you could try 32 languages here. If you go to 11 Labs website here, you'll be able to see, you know, kind of like the list of languages that they support um, somewhere on the website here, or somewhere in the documentation. Um, and for Assembly AI, actually there's a great update here and that all of the transcription that Assembly AI is doing is now using the Universal 2 model, which means that there will be more accurate transcription uh, that you're going to get. And let's have a look here. So previously it is Universal 1, which already outperformed the other large language models uh, for speech recognition. And Universal 2 is doing a little bit better. So you're going to see here the accuracy is like 93.32. And previously it was 93.12 um, and then OpenAI was 91.67 and yeah so the subtlety of speech recognition like the names here is improved the formatting of the text is also improved so instead of having it as text it's showing the dollar sign and the numbers here and then you have the alphanumeric uh, for the license plate here is better shown in the newer model and yeah so other Comparison here shows that it has lower error rates in comparison to the other models. And yeah, generally it is most preferred, right? So users, most of the users are preferring the, the newer model. And if you have a look at the audio here, and then if you play it, it's this original audio. And if you look at the transcribed version, you will see that um, this is actually for Universal 1 is pretty accurate. Um, but then if you have Universal 2, it would be uh, more accurate than uh, the predecessor. And yeah, so we're using both of these and also Anthropic Cloud in the backend uh, for the large language model um, generated response. And so, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below how you're finding this. And let me know what other tutorial videos that you'd like me to build. And 
As always, the best way to learn is to build. And until next time.